Hey guys, Chad here with another review. So we're going to do the monthly perfume review that we do with Neela every um, every month where you mm -hmm. guys vote as to what fragrance they would like you to review. Right. So the winner of this of this one is going to be the Jo Malone Peony Blush Suede. So it's a first impression. Uh, just uh, I want to mention something. Guys, we need a few more votes, okay? We only had like six last time. You know, like the comments are great, the likes are wonderful, but if you're gonna comment, please leave your vote in. And instead of just saying like great video thanks or wonderful video or whatever, just please also leave your vote as to what you would like her to review. All right, so Jo Malone, London, Peony, and what? Um, Blush and Suede, okay. Yeah. So this fragrance was launched in 2013 and the nose behind it is Christine Nigel, I guess that's called, pronounced. Nagel, maybe? Oh. N-A-G-E-L. Alright, so she's created, just to name a few fragrances, Azaro Traveling for Men, mm -hmm. uh, Dior Miss Dior Shady, D Squared Potion for Women, mm -hmm. and Jimmy Choo Flash for Women, and she's done a, quite a few Jo Malone fragrances, um, so we're just to name one of those. Jo Malone Bitter Orange and Chocolate for Women. So the main accords are Floral, Rose, Fresh, Leather, and Fruity, with top notes being Red Apple, uh, the mid is peony, jasmine, carnation, and rose, with the base being suede. Now, what did you get out of this fragrance? Uh, I got the peony, for sure, uh, and the jasmine. I really liked that this one was nice and light. And as everybody knows, I like some of the more understated ones. Okay. Like, um, but it was very floral. It felt very much like summer and spring, and that was the one that I wore in the summer. So now we're obviously very closely in the fall. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Those are my sunglasses. You look very Hi. nice. Hi. <laughs> he looks nice, doesn't he? he? Looks so sharp, honey. Take those off now. Yeah. Uh huh. So, um, so yeah, I got I got the the peony for sure. I loved the um the way it made me feel even in September when it was starting to get a little bit cooler. Like it was still warm in September, but uh, it was starting to near down to maybe 10 degrees Celsius. So it's, you could still wear this. Um, even as early as that. So, All right. Yeah. So the ages, like, oh, actually, okay, wait. Do you mm -hmm. find like this fragrance is it casual, sophisticated? It's casual. Okay. It has a little hint of sophistication too, um, but but it but it is certainly casual. I wouldn't recommend this for a dressed up scent. Sometimes you want something stronger. For okay. Dressed up. All right. So yeah. ages. Ages, uh, I would say thirty and up. So a twenty year old can't wear this one. Well, or, or she shouldn't. Could. She could wear it, but usually girls that are in their 20s tend to like something a little bit more, mm. um, uh, sometimes a little bit lighter, or maybe aren't interested in something. It's today's generation this is, with this it. This is a little bit stronger than the Bulgari one is. Okay, is this yeah. an eau de perfume? Oh, uh, I think it is. It's a good question, I'm not sure. It just says cologne. Yeah. Okay. You should check. Alright, well, seasons. Seasons, I would say spring, summer, and early fall. So you, so you wouldn't say, uh... Winter or anything? No, I don't think so. I think you want something stronger in the winter. <laughs> well, that's nice, that's though. very floral. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice though. All You're right. not gonna, hopefully you don't have bees chasing you, but yeah, it's <laughs> it's really nice. All right, occasions. Occasions, I think it's good for work. I work in a very enclosed environment. It didn't offend anyone, which is kind of nice. Um, I think during the day, any daytime related activities would be fine. Alright, uh, so, mm -hmm. so no date or anything like that? You could wear it on a first date, if you if you don't want to be too out there, right? Um, it's, yeah, I think I think it'd be good for a first date, and then, but I think for more dress occasions you want something different. Alright, yeah. so longevity and, protect, longevity and projection. I like this one because it lasted a long time on me. Oh, it lasted okay. about six hours. That says a lot, because her skin's a bit of a sponge. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so projection. Projection, um, I'd say about four to five. Four to five projection and six hours longevity? Yeah, I think so. Wow, okay. All right, so prices for this one. Mm -hmm. uh, on the Jo Malone site for a 100 ml, you're looking at $120, and for a 30 ml or one ounce is $60. So Nordstrom's for a one ounce would be $71 Canadian, so with the currency, it's probably about 65 mm -hmm. American maybe. Yeah. Amazon for a 30 ml uh, or one ounce is about between 65 and 75 dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, what are people's thoughts on this one? Um, well, anyone who likes 
uh, floral scents. Really loved this one. Uh, a friend of mine loves the smell of peonies, and so she she definitely enjoyed this. It is very um, fresh. Yeah. Um, normally, I don't like it when jasmine's too strong, but I didn't get that out of this. And I, did, I don't like it when rose is too strong either, and I didn't get that out of this either. There, there, there's a few that I do I get like. the rose. Yeah, I got the peony more. It's a little clean, too. That's the thing, right? Like some, yeah, sometimes, it's nice. sometimes the overly powerful floral scents are too powerful, and they don't smell too good on someone like I, me. But it's kind of clean. I like can still said. smell it from this little, like from what I just sprayed. Yeah. So, like, even sitting at my desk, as as you guys know, I probably spray about three to four sprays. Now I started spraying it on the back of my neck as well, and it does linger a little bit longer. And with this one, I had a, had the chance to enjoy it. I was able to, to smell it for a long time. Okay, so mm -hmm. is there anything else? Um, no, like I said, I'd recommend it for anybody that's above 30, not to say that someone younger couldn't wear it. Um, I just think that someone over the age of 30 would appreciate it a little bit more. And it's one of my favorites so far. Alright, yeah. so that's all? That's all. Alright, so for next month's video, guys, please vote if mm -hmm. you're going to like or even just comment. <laughs> so it's going to be another first impressions. We have a, oh, I should say, she has yes. a lot of samples that she would like to go through. So we had a fun day downtown. <laughs> yeah, we did that day. All right. So you have Hermes, mm -hmm. Ombre de Merveille. Yes. Okay. So that's a perfume concentration. You also have, I think this one came from, was it Sebastian or Joe? I don't remember. I think but it's I, Sebastian. Whoever All sent right. it, thank you, because I love that one. Fade on Rouge Avignon. Mm -hmm. I think that's Sebastian. Okay. And the last one is going to be Narciso Rodriguez for her. All right, guys. So please vote. Uh, and by the end of the month, we will upload that video uh, in uh, mid uh, November. But we're also going to do, uh, since we're heading to San Francisco next week, we are going to try and do a video with um, two of the reviewers there. And it's just going to be her and those two. All right. I will not be in it. Gives you guys a bit of a break. He gets the cameraman's job, right? Hell no, that's the tripod. <laughs> I'm lazy as hell, man. All right. Okay. That's it? All right. Okay, guys. So <laughs> that's uh, Neela's review of Joe Malone London Peony Blush Suede. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys next month. Bye. Bye.